trouble. Gets away. There he goes. Football as religion, a comparison that colors the very landscape of Texas. Weekends in Waco swarm with green and yellow. Fort Worth fills with purple in the fall. But no colors might be more synonymous to this sports obsession than the clash of maroon and burnt orange. And here in College Station, where maroon and white reign supreme, a little burnt orange has slipped into the backfield. I'm fairly well protected. If you'll notice my iron fence around the house. <laughs> I have a, a longhorn on the back of my car, and I'm feeling real brave. I'll wear my orange cap with a longhorn on it, yes. When you're feeling oh, brave, yeah. you should wear it proudly. I do wear it proudly at night when they can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Pitts, better known as HK, found himself in the most unlikely of places. You might call him an outcast in Aggie land, a longhorn in the wrong pasture especially considering he's not your average University of Texas alum. He might be unrecognizable to most, but his impact on the school's legacy is known throughout the country. It all happened way back in 1955, when HK was merely horsing around with a friend. Little did he know he had forever enshrined himself in Longhorn lore. A tough Arkansas defense. Come on, baby. Ricky Williams. We were at Texas, it was my junior year, and we were sitting in front of the corral one night drinking our root beer and stuff. I just did my hand like this and started to poke him in the eyes like that. <laughs> and I had that moment of insight that we did this, you know, when we were a kid, we did little the eagles, shadow on the wall type right. stuff. That was right after electricity was invented. And so uh, I said, we did this for whole long run. I said, the Aggies have a sign. We need a sign. That's right. I wanted to go show that sign. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> went back and talked to the head cheerleader. His name was Harley Clark, by the way. He said, we'll tell them at the, at the pep rally Friday night. They're up on stage, and all the kids standing down there cheering and going on said, uh, HK has come up with a sign. This is going to be our sign from now on. Hook them horns. And, and it caught on better than I thought it would. Tell you the truth. You know, nobody knows who did the, the gig. Now you're doing it. No, I know. I'm just going to make a point here. <laughs> it's very seldom we cover celebrities or famous athletes on this show. We prefer ordinary Texans doing extraordinary things. H.K. Pitts is to most an ordinary Texan. He never chased fortune or fame, even after creating a symbol with priceless value. But if you happen to attend a UT football game, look for H.K. up in the stands and give him a hook em horns. Because in the end, like any good legend, it's the spirit carried on that really counts. So when you walk in the UT stadium, and you see everybody doing this, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel tremendous. In fact, I think one day I actually did this. I did it with both hands, you know, double and said, hey, I started that, and people just walked right on by. <laughs> it paid me no attention, you know, again, uh, this goofy thinks he started to hook him horns on, but we'll ignore him and, and let him go get, get in his end zone seat behind the goalpost like he usually says, you know. <laughs> but it, yeah, it, it's great. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.